104.3. Welcome back. Jonathan Clark here in the studio with Rival Sons. Uh, the latest album, Great Western Valkyrie. What an awesome title. Uh, we've got Jay, Scott, and Michael, and Dave from the band. Welcome, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good to morning, have Jonathan. you back here in uh, New York City. Now, are, you're from Long Beach, but is everyone from there originally, or did you just sort of uh, like, well, you that know, was the melting pot It's or spread out. Long Beach ended up being the hub. I'm from Long Beach. Miley's from Long Beach. And I'm from Huntington Beach, which is a neighboring beach city. Yeah, yeah. I'm Surf. from Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice. Which is pretty close. Yeah, that's very close. Plane. Just to stumble away. <laughs> um, you know, I saw your show at the Gramercy, uh, I guess it was several months ago back. Loved it. Loved it because you guys, you know, you have your own sound, but it also, like in, in your songs, uh, you seem to show your love for the bands that sort of inf influenced you growing up. I mean, when I see you guys, it's like, ooh, sorry, I can't do that. Humble Pie, Free, <laughs> Zeppelin, you know, all those bands. That's how you know it's rock and roll. You can't even help. The four-letter word just slip out. <laughs> it sure does. And I'm just, like, hanging out with dudes, so I'm just going to say that. Um, but do I have that right as far as the bands that sort of uh, you guys listened to growing up? I think that... Um Absolutely yeah. for yeah. me. And yeah. I think, you know, we're showing our influences just like our influences showed theirs. If you really go back and look, I mean... How many Willie Dixon tracks are on those Zeppelin records? You know, how many, oh yeah. How, how much did? Yeah, did they I, almost got in trouble for that too. They're almost still getting into trouble for stuff these days. It's, but you it's know, it's just what we do as musicians. We we honor our uh, our heroes and. Yeah, you know, I think we balance. You know, you balance your your childhood heroes and everything, and the, all of those influence. You balance that with with the new. You yeah, know, yeah. With with the with the unexplored for you, and so you end up trying to. Uh, you know, make your own hybrid, uh, you know, and try to contribute to this art. Let me take just a second. Rest in peace, B.B. King. Oh, yeah, I know. B. Terrible. B. Well, yeah. I mean. We drank far too much in oh his honor God. last night. So. 89. I mean, not bad, right? And not bad. No, yeah. very, yeah. very you know, good. Like, at one point, I think he was doing, like, 250 shows a year. And I it was, like, 85. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. You know, that was just his lifestyle. He had that tour bus all tricked out, you know, and it was, like, a second home for him. Or it was, like. His main home, pretty much. I get um, it. We're in the studio with Rival Sons. Uh, tell me about, uh, give me an awesome anecdote uh, about sharing the stage with Aerosmith. <laughs> Do you have one? You yeah. must have one There's at a least. Few. Miley, I think Miley it's has a, the best it, one probably. It's like living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I have a one that probably nobody will relate to, but. Uh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, tell it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I, I turned my uh, snare floor tom um, away from me, and uh, it just feels ergonomically better. And, and he sat down on my, my kit, and he, and he said... This is this this Joey Steve, Kramer? No, this is Steven Tyler. Steven oh, Tyler. Steven. Yeah, he's and a this drummer. Is, this yeah. is at Soundcheck. He yeah. came on stage with us. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, sorry. Steven Tyler just walks out at Soundcheck and starts hanging out with all of us and um, talking. And literally, we hung out with him for combined probably... 90 minutes that day just, right. he was just hanging he, and he talked to each one of us and um he played my drums and he, he sat down on my kit and um and asked me if i have an od overbite so and everyone it was yeah i guess it was one of those things you had to be there because my my what drums, is an overbite oh on your drum kit like okay. you know because my drums are tilted forward and right and he couldn't he could not play them. I and he's a great drummer yeah yeah so, he is yeah so. that's that's a pretty awesome story but he he was very um like just loving and validating and telling us stories and and yeah there was later yeah. later in the day we actually all ended up meeting together and uh you know he had just finished his book oh and yeah. uh great book wow i think he just gave us <laughs> he gave us the like footnotes for the entire book while we hung out because he told us about how they got together you know about how how great it went and then how it went yeah <laughs> yeah then, like how they lost everything and how they crawled out he Basically, sum summarize the. It book. was behind the music in like an hour. Or it, yeah, it was a forty-five yeah. minute hangout. But he was really affable, really, really kind to us, really cool. All of them really were, were great guys yeah. to us. Getting uh, getting uh, getting vocal props from Steven Tyler is that's on a very very short list. Oh yeah, I mean <laughs> yeah. You know? The man can sing, and, so cool. and clearly he can talk a lot too. I mean he's been here, and it, it's like <laughs> the, w when he leaves, it's like everyone's like. Wow, that was like a workout. It was like yeah. two hours of insanity <laughs> yeah. and energy, but in an awesome way. Uh, in the studio with Rival Sons, the uh, new album is Great Western Valkyrie. Uh, you did the Jimmy Kimmel show, I believe, recently. 
And but you did that. Um, we did Letterman. Letterman. More Letterman. That, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, tell me about later with Jules Holland. That's such a cool show, oh, right? Yeah. One of our in favorites. the UK. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I've uh, TiVo'd or taped every single one of those episodes, like a lot of these guys have too. I'm sure. <coughs> favorite, favorite. Maybe I like that show. Maybe yeah, better than the old Gray Whistle Test. Yeah, it's like one no, of the all-time music shows. No other show like it. So who was on the show with you? It was like a completely eclectic group of like. It was really was. eclectic. Sinead O'Connor, Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Uh, IBA, Rumor, Rumor. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, I think the, that's the the girls, the Cuban yeah, girls. I, IBA, IBA, IBA yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it was excellent. A lot of people that uh, a few people we hadn't heard of, and usually it's like really mainstream people but we had heard yeah. of the, these ones that ended up being fantastic oh, Fra though. Frankie goes to Hollywood what's that guy he was he, he was, was the interview mm -hmm. yeah wow so it's like right rival sons over here Sinead O'Connor over there and it's like like there's five stages mm -hmm. or something yeah, or? Yeah, no. all, all in the round in all the round. in the round that one big sound stage and um it's as cool as you think it would be <laughs> yeah, like yeah. It, it, it was really like that Owen oh, um uh what's his name Cohen what's his oh, name oh yeah that's right oh yeah Leonard Cohen's kid yeah Adam Cohen. Adam yeah. Cohen. Yeah, and he was, was great. great. He was great. He did a couple of songs. Uh, let's play a track from this uh, great new album. Should we do Electric Man? How about that? I think yeah. that sounds, that sounds really idea. good on the radio. <laughs> uh, what can you tell me about this song? Uh, if, if you're able to turn it up from here. Turn to it 11. Up. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're going to play it right now. Uh, it's Rival Sons. Go out and get this great album. It totally rocks. Great Western Valkyrie. And, guys, thank you so much for uh, giving us a few minutes. And... Uh, We'll see you back here in New York real soon. All Hope right. So.